So now we're going to add some widgets to our WordPress blog. And in this particular version of WordPress, it's actually become a lot more complicated to add widgets than it was in the past. In the past, it was actually a lot simpler to do. But what's happened is WordPress has basically simplified their dashboard. And in doing so, they've taken some stuff out of there. And one of the things that they've taken out is widgets. Widgets used to be an option here in the dashboard. It's not anymore. In order for you to get to widgets, what you need to do is you need to come to themes uh, in your dashboard and then click customize. And then it loads up for you. One of the options that it loads up for you is widgets. Now, let's talk a little bit about what a widget is just for a moment. Basically, what a widget is, is it's something that appears on every single page of your blog and it allows you to do little tasks automatically on there. So, for example, you could have a search widget so that people can come and search. Um, for certain posts, you can have a list of your categories, a list of your tags. You could have a calendar of all the blog posts you've ever written in uh, chronological order. It gives you, um, you can put your social media icons in your sidebar. It gives you lots and lots of options. So I'm just going to click here on sidebar and then we're going to click on add a widget. And when you do that, it shows you these are all the widgets that you have as an option to install on your site. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of them and that's kind of cool. Let's choose, um, Contact info might be great. Uh, let's choose a Facebook page plugin. Now this is only gonna work if you have a Facebook page. This won't work on your personal account. Um, Uh, so you plug all that information in. See, it's showing you as you go along. I'm just going to close it and hit save and publish. And now that is going to be in the sidebar of my blog. So what you can do is take some time and scroll through, look at the different widgets, and you can install some of these in the sidebar of your blog. For example, maybe you want to install Instagram. It's easy enough to do. You just go in, authorize your Instagram, and then you'll have an Instagram widget in the sidebar of your blog. And that's how you use widgets.